Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are cash stuffing $774 into three of our binders. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jordan. We do a lot of cash stuffing on this channel, but we also talk a bit about budgeting. We do a little bit of planning. I sometimes chat about being a full-time Etsy and YouTube owner person. I don't know. Anyway, if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Stay in touch because there's always a lot going on on this channel and I'm getting back to a three possibly four video a week upload schedule. I've been a little off of that lately, but we are getting back to it. Okay, so for this video, let's go ahead and count the $774. Make sure we have the cash that we think we have. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 70, 90, 510, 30, 50, 70, 90, 610, am I already off? 630, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, 710, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. Oh, we did it right, okay, that's exciting. I don't always count right, that is a staple in this channel. How are you guys doing on this wonderful Monday? It has been beautiful weather here in South Mississippi. It's getting a little bit warmer, but not warm to where it's like, eh, you know, South Mississippi hot, sticky, sweaty. Okay, let's move off <laughs> from that topic. Uh, but it's been nice, it's been nice so far. And the kids, we just got back from a camping trip this weekend, so that was super fun. I did not stay the night. It was possibly the like least stressful camping trip, like how you can set it up. Basically, we got a campsite, but my parents stayed in a hotel at night and I just drove back home at night. So my parents kept the kids at a hotel. It is not true overnight tent camping. Like we typically do the whole shebang. I was just a little bit too busy for it. I think baseball is taking all of my extra energy. We enjoyed camping during the day, but none of us had to camp in a tent at night, which is always like the dreaded part for the adult, right? So anyway, it was a very easy camping trip where we got to enjoy outside during the day. So it was very, very nice. It was very easy for the adults, but the kids still got to fish and swim the entire time. So it was a lot of fun. Okay, rent. We are gonna stuff $472 into our bills binder because all of our bills are gonna be due at the start of this upcoming month. If you're new here, I do stuff all of my bills for the month that's coming next. So all of this is for May's bills, even though we are just at the end of April. So I'm always like one month ahead, if you will. So we are basically stuffing the rest of the bills binders to like complete how much we need for them for the month. I, I over explain sometimes guys and then things get even worse than if I would have just left it alone. I'm sorry about that. So rent, we are gonna add $280 to rent. 50, 150, 200, 50, 70, 80. Okay, so we should have $980 for rent now, which is how much our rent is. And I will go ahead, after all of this is stuff this week, I will go ahead, deposit the money, and pay everything at once. I get that question a lot. How do I handle moving it back over to pay things? I've sort of transitioned all of my bills. You know, you can kind of play with the dates of when things are due. All of my bills have been transitioned to come out the first of the month. And I did that intentionally because I don't want the money sitting in the bank or I will spend it. That's just me. But it just, so it keeps things simple and on track for me. So all of this money, as soon as I stuff it today, it goes to the bank and all of those bills start coming out either automatically or I go in the systems and pay them. So rent has 50, 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 900, 950, 70, 80. So $980 for rent is going to be paid as soon as I get this in the bank later today. Next is preschool. Preschool is $410 and then we should be up to our 410. This is going to be my last time ever paying a preschool. Both of my boys will, are now out of preschool or like will be graduated by the end of May. Preschool has 50, 150, 250, 350, 410, 410 dollars for preschool. I pay that in cash. So this gets sent straight to the preschool tomorrow and they will be covered for the month. I don't deposit this money. So some of my bills are sort of handled that way. I'm explaining it in this video just because I do get that question a lot. How do I handle the transition over? Because most bills are paid online now, right? So electric, we need $30 and that should even us out. Let's see. 
30, we now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 140 for electric. That gets put on, this gets put on my electric account basically. And then if it's over any, then I'll go back and pay, you know, like the $10 difference or whatever. But mine is pretty spot on to 140. So I just go ahead and put it into the account for when it needs to come up. Internet is $70. That took me a second to think about that one. So we're just adding 10, 20, 40, 60, $70 towards internet. And if you are somebody that does not spend your rollover money or money that's just sitting in your account, I don't see why you would need to do the bills binder. I do this because it used to be that I would put money in my account. I'd be like, oh, some money needs to stay there for rent. Rent would come around and I would have spent like half of it. And then I'm kind of scrounging with that week's money, trying to pay and catch up on bills. This is just an easy way to keep me on track. You are somebody that can stay on track without doing this with physical cash and then depositing it last minute, which is basically what I do then you would not need to do a bills binder. I would say out of all of the binders that I do, the bills binder for a lot of people is probably the most unrealistic because you have things coming out at different times. You may not want to sort of figure all that out, at least not right away. It's not, it's certainly not the first binder that I would start with if I'm just starting a cash budget system. So gym and pool, this is for an indoor pool for my sons. We added 20, we now have 20, 30, 40, 50, $55 for that gym and pool. Next is renter's insurance. Renter's insurance is going to get $22 and that should put us to exactly what we need. Let's see, 22, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 37. My renter's insurance is only 27. We're taking that out. <laughs> we'll figure out what we can do with that $10, but I over planned what we needed there. So we're gonna take that out for now. And then pets, actually we did not have anything planned for pets. Let's go ahead and put that $10 into pets. This is just money that I'm holding on to for when my pets have some kind of emergency vet need because I know it will come up. We have three guinea pigs. Their names are Chocolate, Twix, and Snowball. Pets has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 210. I, if I did that right, 210 towards pets now. So that is it for our bills binder. Again, I will pull all of this money pretty much now that it's stuffed. I will pull it the next couple days, put it in the bank and start paying on these bills. So that is done for the month of May. It always feels so nice to be starting a month and everything is already in here and ready to go. Next, we're gonna move over to our variable spending. Let's go ahead and put $140 into groceries this week. Last week, we kind of skimmed like we, I bought a little bit of groceries here and there. I don't remember what it totaled up to, but that's why I don't like credit cards because I don't keep an eye on things as well as I do when it's cash. But I did spend some money on groceries last week, but because we didn't do a cash stuffing, I just never made it around planning exactly what my money was doing last week until it was like later in the week. I'm saying all that to say we need a lot of groceries because I was trying not to purchase last week. So we're adding $140 into groceries for this week. All of that will get spent like today or tomorrow. Gas, gas for the car, we're gonna add 30. And I need to fill up today also because I just got back from that camping trip where I was driving a little bit more than normal this weekend. So I'm hoping 30 lasts us the entire week, but I guess we will see on that one too. Fast food, we have increased fast food to $30 a week. This is also something that I might have to add more money to this week because my boys have a lot of games this week and we have other things going on that's not just baseball. I don't know, we will see what happens and if we can stay in $30 within $30. I will take this chance to go ahead and say I am doing a video on Wednesday and that video is going to be my planning and setting up my, oh, let me grab them. Okay, so you guys know I just launched the, the sticker kit for May. I launched it a couple of weeks ago. We sold almost 40 of these guys, which thank you, thank you, thank you. If you bought a sticker kit for me, this is brand new to my shop. It's brand new to my line. I've already seen some things that I would like to tweak for next month sticker kit. Basically, thank you if you are somebody who supported this from the jump. I was hoping there would be like 20 purchases and 20 of you guys that would support the stickers just to kind of get the ball moving. And maybe for June's kit, 
kit maybe 40 of them would sell we already sold 40 of this very first kit so just thank you thank you for being so supporting and kind to me as I'm starting this new side of the business but these new sticker kits will be launching every single month I'm even thinking maybe I will launch two sticker kits every single month that's a conversation for a different video but on Wednesday I will be uploading a video where I'm using my sticker kit I'm going to be tracking my spending much more closely and you guys can see month to month every single month I will be setting up the sticker kit with you guys and then at the end of the month we will be going through and talking about how things actually played out in my budget like what I actually spent on where I went over and that kind of thing because I am very like you guys see me stuff cash into the categories I'm very transparent on this channel but there are purchases that come up like if we have extra fast food needs this week it's not unknown or like un out of character for me to slide the card for that extra food expense right like I do that from time to time my idea is I will be sort of planning and showing you guys my full budget and then at the end of the month we will be recapping what I actually spent what I actually saved on and that kind of thing like we will be getting the full planning of the budget as well that was way harder for me to say than it <laughs> Okay, so moving on to self-care. This is where I mentioned the tips to you guys. So this week was a very short tip week, but I do want to say thank you to the two people that did tip for this week. Thank you to Lisa and thank you to Sherry. Combined, you guys tipped $15. I appreciate you so much for thinking of me and putting me in your budget and sending tips my way. That is not expected, necessary, or required in any way or capacity, but I really appreciate you guys for thinking of me in that way and sending me tips over on Etsy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I am going to be putting, of that $15, I will put $10 into self-care and we will put the other $5 into Etsy. So self-care, I am bringing my boys to see Sonic. We talked about this a couple days ago. It has not happened yet. We just got that from that camping trip, but we will be seeing the movie this week. So some of this tip money will go towards a movie experience with my kids and we will see about the rest of it like after that point. So total for self-care, we have 20, 30, 40 45 50 dollars for self-care and then for Etsy let's go ahead and add the five there are some things that I've been eyeballing on Etsy I'm hoping to get them this week I will keep you guys updated on what I purchase we added the five we have 50 70 80 90 100 105 10 15 16 116 dollars towards Etsy so thanks again to Sherry and thank you to Lisa for tips this week next we have haircuts this is for a haircut for myself my boys did pretty recently get a haircut. So we're gonna add $10 to this. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 dollars for, for a haircut for myself. And sick days we are going to skip. We haven't needed to stuff sick days lately, but let me just go ahead and talk about it in case you are new here. This is not for doctors or medical or medicine needs or anything. I like to keep $30 in a sick day category. That is for if I get sick or if the kids get sick, just convenience factor. If we want extra fast food because I don't feel like cooking. If the boys need some kind of toy or a stuffed animal because that might make them feel better. It is just for convenience and feel good things. So I always keep $30 in here. We have not been sick lately, so we haven't needed to use it or restuff it, but it's been a while since I mentioned it. So I thought I'd take that second to share that category because I know that one, when I first started doing sick days, a lot of you guys were ordering sick day stickers and stuff from my shop. So I know it was a well-received category. So I thought I would mention it. Next, we are moving over to our emergency binder. This is for saving for emergency situations. You guys know, I've said this before, if I'm able to kind of keep these things going and not spend from it, solar powered battery pack. The one that I have my eye on is called a Jackery. They have different sizes, so it's gonna be a different total like price depending on which one you get, but that is the one I've had my eye on. I know I've gotten that question a little bit in the comments. So for roll the dice, this is just a fun challenge to save a little bit of money here and there. Let's roll the dice, see what we land on. Four, so let's take one, two, three, four dollars and put towards our roll the dice challenge. Roll the dice challenge, we have a lot of ones. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars now for the roll the dice challenge. I think very soon I will be doing an unstuffing and consolidation. Let me know if you would like to see one of those videos. I know that can be pretty popular, but it's basically where I take, you know, all of these ones out, maybe put a 10 in there, get some of the bigger bills out, 
put placeholders in and bring some of the money to the bank. If you would like to see that on camera instead of me doing it off camera, definitely let me know and I'd be happy to make that video soon. Um, Next, oh, one month ahead. So this is to get one month ahead on bills. My bills total about $2,000 and that's for like my, this binder, like the rent, preschool, electric, internet, all of those kinds of things. So for one month ahead, we're trying to get one extra month ahead. We are going to put $20, where'd I put that? Highlighter, there it is. We're gonna put $20 in here and let's see what we are up to. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 120 dollars towards the one month ahead category. Again, just like emergency sort of prepping for if I have a bad month or something happens, we can be a little bit more ahead. Pantry stockpile, let's add 11 dollars to this one. This is just to restock my pantry. Every once in a while, I like to do that. I will make large purchases or like I will get a big grocery haul of like a bunch of spaghetti sauce and a bunch of pastas those staple pantry items that don't go bad very quickly it's not straight up like emergency stockpiled food like it's not freeze-dried food it is just keeping my pantry well stocked in case I mean one in case there's a shortage but also just for convenience factor it's nice to have your pantry well stocked in general right Am I the only one that does that? I mean, I know I'm not the only one that does that, but does anybody else do that? They like to keep things pretty stocked. I'd say I always have about a two month stockpile on hand, especially now that I have that deep freeze that I bought recently, which I guess is not a pantry, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so pantry stockpile now has 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So we have $46 towards pantry stockpile. We are almost done guys. Thank you for making it to the end of this video with me. I really appreciate you. Uh, we have emergency prep next. We're gonna add $10. I never wrote in how much these things are worth, so I guess we could go ahead and do that. But I sort of started like just unintentionally putting one, I think it was, was it $2? $2, okay. So $2 for the water bottles, $5 for the like utensil set, and then $10 is what we're gonna put for the flashlight. So if you can't see that, let's see. So emergency prep, you got your water bottles, your utensils, and your flashlight. I am making them different denominations. So $2, $5, and $10. Let's add 10 and color in a flashlight for this time. Okay, emergency prep now has five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. So $22 for emergency prep. Next, we have medical. We're gonna add $20 here. I did talk with you guys about medical recently. With the medical situation, because I did bring it up recently, my boys have pre-existing conditions, which knocks them out of getting private insurance. But yes, when re-enrollment comes around, it is my understanding that I could get them a state-run insurance, and I think in Mississippi it's Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is like $500 per person, and it doesn't really cover much at all. So I've started looking into it, actually, because you guys know Mississippi is hopefully probably not my long-term goal at other places and it looks like some states do have state-run programs so like Florida Florida for example has healthy kids I think and it's like $250 basically you can buy into what the kids what is equivalent to kids Medicaid but you can buy into it so it has very minimal copays it doesn't cap out it's a good option for if you don't qualify for Medicaid but you can basically buy Medicaid for your kids basically like to keep things simple we don't don't have anything like that in Mississippi. I am still on the hunt for something that is affordable that would actually help with their medical expenses but is an option to them. So private insurance, which is like your better plans, is not open to my children, nor do they qualify for any kind of Medicaid or anything right now. So I don't know. Anyway, anyways, medical, we added 20. Basically, we need to start really focusing on this. Maybe when my boys are both out of preschool, one of you guys suggested maybe I could just start using that $400 a month for preschool for like, saving towards medical expenses, which is genius. That's probably what's gonna happen. But for now, we're just adding 20. We have 20, 40, 60, 65 towards medical. And I really, really, really have to figure this out soon. So we will see. My boys, I will say right now, they are both still covered under Medicaid because I was unemployed during the pandemic. Now I'm making too much to qualify for Medicaid, but because it's still in the pandemic-ish, like they're not dropping people for Medicaid right now. It's just when they decide to drop us, 
it's probably going to be very abrupt and I like need to have some kind of a plan, right? <laughs> because I don't know what I'm going to do at that point. Okay, so for gas, we are going to add $7. Gas now has 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So we have $55 towards gas. By the end of this, when we finish coloring this in, we will have $100. This is a freebie that's on my website. I think it's also linked in the description if you guys wanna look for that. My website is being revamped, guys. So if there is a vlog this week, keep an eye out for it because I will be talking a lot about my website in that vlog. I am filming a vlog. It depends on how I do with the editing of the vlog on if it's gonna go live or not because it will be a new style of editing for me. So we will see. Uh, but yeah, I'll be talking a lot about that updated website and you will be able to find my stuff a lot easier very soon, basically. So emergency savings, we are not gonna add 25, so we're not gonna get to color in, but we did add five. So we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. We now have $80 towards emergency savings. If nothing comes up, this money will also go towards that Jackery battery pack and solar panels. So that would be fun, but we will see. Things tend to pop up. That is life. So I'm not giving my hopes on it up on it just yet. If you made it to the very, very end of this video, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I love that you guys make it a part of your week and you spend this time with me. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you for sh supporting me here on YouTube and over on Etsy. You guys are amazing. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for being here with me and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.